What's up guys, it's me Sir Ernest and today I'm going to introduce to you how fluids behave when they are contained in a rigid body undergoing acceleration. So one of the main goals of this topic is to derive relations for the pressure variations in fluids that moves with the rigid body. Here we can consider a fluid that may or may not have acceleration. However, we only consider situations where any shear stresses is ignited. So what does it mean? It means that the particles within the fluid and within the layers of the fluid do not have any relative motion. So in this case, when a rigid object that contains a fluid accelerates, the fluid assumes a new free surface. Well, of course, after all that initial slashing occurs. Here, the individual particles within the fluid will have the same accelerations and therefore assumes a shape and maintains it, acting like a rigid object. So what will happen here is that we're going to consider rigid bodies that contains fluids and we will consider four situations. The first situation is how fluids behave when the rigid object is at rest. So for example, a glass of water on top of your table right now. Another case that we're going to consider is when the rigid body and the fluid in it are undergoing free fall motion. So what happens to the fluid's shape when it undergoes free fall motion together with the fluid body? In this case, we're going to consider the acceleration to be the acceleration due to gravity. The third case that we're going to discuss is how fluids within a rigid body behaves when the rigid body undergoes translational acceleration on a straight path. So in this case, there are two accelerations that are present. Of course, the first one is the gravitational acceleration and the other one is the linear acceleration. And in the last one, what will now happen if the fluid undergoes rotation together with a cylindrical container. So in this case, because of the fact that the particles within the fluid will undergo circular motion as the cylindrical container rotates, so therefore each fluid will have a radial acceleration. You normally know this acceleration to be the centripetal acceleration, ending always towards the center. And we will consider that type of acceleration together with your gravitational acceleration. So in the coming videos, we're going to derive the equations of motion of your fluid for these four cases. But for now, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!